clicks in your dialogue track are awful, especially once you get in here to Media Composer and you think you've you already have your dialogue ready to go, but maybe you missed something, maybe somebody else missed something. So here we have a dialogue track from a different video I have already finished, and listen to this here. Concepts which will have a different, you hear that? Concepts which will have a that click right there. Concepts which will have, I can't leave that in there. So what I need to do is remove that. Now I've already marked off this area, and by marked off, I mean I've placed edits around it, so that's my B key, but uh, you may have that mapped differently. Add edit is right there. That just basically adds a cut for those who aren't familiar with uh, the way Media Composer works. So I've cut around those two areas. So I just have this small clip here. And because I have the Isotope Music Production Suite, that means I also have Isotope RX6 Standard, which comes with a D-click module. It actually comes with a mouth D-click module as well, but we're just going to look at the normal D-click module. So to access that, come up to your effects, audio clip, and I'll just type in RX, and we want D click right there. So I'll just grab it, throw it right here on the clip. And here is the interface, relatively simple interface. We have different bands we can choose, sensitivity, pretty self-explanatory, the widening to widen the area around the uh, click there, multi-input mode, mono mode, we're gonna to go to the mono mode. We also have some presets right here, but let's just look at how this works. So we already have this on our clip. All we need to do is preview it. Switch will have a Switch will have a With this setting that we have right here, we've pretty much already gotten rid of that, of that click. If you wanna know exactly what these settings do or these different parameters, you can just pause the video and read this here real quick. We're using single band because we have like a narrow digital click sort of sound. All right, so just pause the video, read that if, uh, if you want. All right, so all we need to do now is render that. 16 clicks repaired within this little area, and let's play back. Concepts which will have a different, perfect. Concepts which will have a, it's completely gone now. So that's how easy RX D-click uh, is to, to use. Another thing you can do, if you have a lot of clicks, and I do on this track, I can save this effect with these settings, drop it down here, and then all I need to do is drop it on another area that I need to fix, and uh, maybe those settings will work, maybe they won't. So here's another area, and I already have it marked. Let's listen to this. Get it from this web right there. There's some mouth noise, so I could use mouth declick, but this declick module will work as well. Get it from this, that's awful right there. Get it from this web, <laughs> that's just awful. But let's just see if the preset we already have, our settings will work on this. I'll just apply it and I'll go ahead and render that because we'll have to render it in order to actually hear it. And you can actually see, let me control Z that. Look right here, let me actually zoom in even more. See this click right here, you can actually see it in the waveform. All right, let me come back up here to edit and we're gonna redo that and boom, now that's gone. So if we listen to it, stream, get it from this website right much better. It's not perfect here. We might want to come in here, pop open into this, and uh, maybe widen that a little bit. We change the sensitivity a little bit higher. Uh, we could always preview it, but I'll just go ahead and render it there. Very good. Get it from this website right here. Much, much better. So once again, that's RX6 D-Click. Great plugin you can get from Isotope, I don't recommend buying things on their own because Isotope has great deals if you purchase like the full music production suite uh, or one of their other big packages. But you can always go check them out at isotope.com and save your dialogue. Even here in Media Composer, a lot of times AAX plugins are thought of as a Pro Tools only thing, but we use them here in Media Composer all the time as well.